Hello everybody, Happy New Year and welcome to Zyber Organic YouTube channel. My name is Smyrne, your host for this video and also the founder of Zyber Organics. Um, hope you had a really fantastic festivities time and you had the chance to relax and had a great time with your loved ones. Um, today I'm going to make a facial oil and the reason I wanted to do a nice facial oil is um, we, it's winter time and we get really stressed. We're gonna probably, some of you may be a, at work already you want to give a little bit of um, glowy to your face you know maybe you're stuck at home because of pandemic maybe but who knows but you, this is kind of, is really good great way to uh, give your face a bit of glow and relax and then just get your mood up you know it's always really really handy to have a facial oil i use it myself uh, especially after shower i use my own serums and i do my own facial oil so this is a bit similar to what i do but it's, it's gonna really give you that really glowy skin um, i'm also adding a little bit of lavender uh, lavender buds and lavender essential oil um, the reason is it's if you use this oil especially in the evening after shower lavender as you know is very relaxing has a calming effect and then you can go fall into sleep right away Additionally, we're going to use some really beautiful oils that will help with the moisturization and hydration of the skin. And especially if you suffer from dry skin due to cold, this will really, really uh, soften your skin and give it a beautiful glow and really, really hydrate it. So without the further ado, let's get on to it. Okay, here I got my equipment and my oils are ready here, which I'm going to start talking about them in a minute. I got a jeweler's scales for precise measurement. And today we're going to make 50 milliliters. So I got my nice... 50 milliliter bottle for filling up later and I'm using a hundred milliliter beaker to um, get the oils in here um, another thing before we start is I'm going to uh, use a lot of ester based oils um, something like uh, here I'm using coconut oil normally I use something called caprylic caprylic triglyceride which is also quite confused with coconut oil but um, and this is fractionated coconut oil um, the reason is um, you will need to have you will need to make these oils if you combine heavy oils like argan oil or maybe sweet almond oil it's gonna leave your skin quite shiny and you don't or, or face quite shiny and you don't want and then it's also sit down on your face and it's not gonna absorb it you don't want to have a very oily face uh, after putting your nice serum so um, the reason is because you need to use what they call a light oil or esters based oils you can use safflower which has a, have a lot of linoleic acid and is really good for skin lubrication and it really your skin ab absorbs this oil very fast it doesn't even stay on your skin uh, squalane is really good for your skin um, squalane is this is a plant extract obviously please do not buy any other squalane that is from animals because especially from sharks it you know it's not like it really you don't want um sharks to get harmed <laughs> just because of this and this is uh, from olive oil based um plant extract squalane is also very good for your skin it really softens your skin and it's also very light ester so it really helps with the absorption of the oil into your skin so that's what we're going to use um followed by grape seed Grape seed is also another very softening and fast absorbing oils. If you don't have grape seed, you can also use apricot kernel or peach kernel. They're also quite light oils. The main thing that you have to look for really um, fast absorbing oils properties that you're looking for linoleic acid, what they call. So if it's high in linoleic acid, then um, it's really, uh, it's gonna be fast absorbing. So that's the next one, grape seed. Uh, followed by lemon seed this is also very hydrating and again high absorbing high skin absorption oil i really like it and it has a little bit of tan, a little bit of greenness to it and it has a bit of smell of a lemon seed so um it's really really one of my favorite oils to use lemon seed and i'm gonna use a meadow foam which again for the intense intense um moisturizing portrait and it's, it's super stable oil comes from middle foam plant which is mainly in, in north america but you can find this in a bit a bit special ingredients you may not find this in your supermarket but if you go to uh, ingredient suppliers cosmetic ingredient suppliers you can find this oil there so uh, i'm just gonna put a couple of links where i got my oils from and you can order them from there so oh also last thing 
we're gonna add the beautiful rosehip oil um, rosehip oil is really good for um, helping your skin rejuvenate and um, really softens your skin also it has the uh, scar any kind of uh, skin blemishes rose hip is really good for that so also helps with the skin absor absorption so and it's also has a really nice reddish color to your oil so uh, i really like using it. the last one is i was going to use some argan oil argan oil is very heavy so i'm not going to use much only very small and i'm going to give the formula in the screen so you can also follow that from there um okay so let's start um the main ingredient as i mentioned is going to be coconut oil so we're going to use 28 percent of coconut oil okay i've got 14 grams of coconut oil and next one is squalane so we will need 7.5 grams of squalane that's also done next one is grape seed grape seed 7.5 grams of seven of grape seed as well so we got the grape seed next one is safflower as you can see the bulk of the formula is made up from highly uh light, very light oils and esters so another 7.5 grams of safflowers oil so that's also done um next is lemon seed so lemon seed is 2.5 grams so it's 10 percent so Okay, we put our lemon seed next is going to be argan oil so argan is argan is very good for your face and also also for your hair so i'm gonna put 2.5 grams of argan but don't forget argan is very heavy oil so you don't want to put too much so and finally we're gonna put metal foam oil which is another 2.5 gram. Okay, we're gonna put the raw seed seed oil. Um, that is going to be the uh, beautiful um, raw seed to give us that um, rejuvenation and healing properties. So we don't need much, 2.5 grams is a five, look at the color. So you can see as it's, okay. That's also done and right so we have come to add lavender so as i mentioned earlier we're going to add some lavender essential oil and i'm going to put also a bit of bergamot to give that beautiful uh, perfume kind of smell so i'm not going to add much uh, because it's going to go to your face don't go you don't need to add them too much just a couple of drops enough so in here i'm going to add 0 0.25 so there's like a couple of drops really and same with the lavender for decoration i'm adding a little bit of lavender but to really inf and also help with the ex bit of decoration also the infuse the oil a little bit with lavender so i'm adding a bit of lavender buds here you don't need too much and optionally you have a couple of options here um, if you really want to elevate this to a next level, you can add a couple of extracts. Um, here I have a vitamin C, ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate, which is basically a vitamin C, uh, but is an oil soluble vitamin C and it's more stable. A seaweed extract um, that will help with the uh, elasticity in the skin and antioxidization. And it's really smooths your skin, even it just gives more a beautiful glow um i have here an oil extract of oat again oat as you know is has very calming effect so these are all optional it's up to you i mean this is already done finished all you need to do bottle it but i'm gonna add a little bit of vitamin c and a little bit of um oat extract to make this uh all to, to make this the next level and it's also vitamin c helps with the hydration so you don't need much just the one drop is enough for this because it's very powerful this uh so i'm gonna add one drop and i'm also adding a couple of drops of oat extract and i think we're done and we just all you need to do is now mix it all as you can see it turned a little bit greenish but and once that's done 
you can bottle that into your dropper bottle just make sure and and you can label it and here's our nice beautiful facial oil that you can use it in your face every day especially in the evenings as i mentioned it has a really nice lavender or buds in it and lavender essential oil it'll help you calm and calm your face as well and calm you for the day if you want to use in the evening but you can use in the morning or any time of the day especially after shower when your face is uh, when your pores are open with the hot water it's very uh, essential so next what i want to show you is um i want to show you the absor uh, absorption uh, skin absorption of this oil so let me just take out uh, take out my gloves and show it to you Okay, so I've taken my gloves out. So let's do a couple of drops uh, of this oil. And let's rub in. You can see it's already absorbed and there's no light. As you can see, there's nothing glowing on my on the skin so this is this is it so at the mates the major part of this formula as i said you need to use light esters like squalane or cuckoo uh fractionated coconut oil those are the be those have to be the majority of the um majority of the formula and this way you don't have that oily tacky feeling i hope this helps and if you have any questions please do write in the comment section below and i'll put the links for these where i get these um, extracts and oils and enjoy making yours and tag me on instagram uh, I'll, from if you make one and just let me know take care and have a good day until next time take care bye